Hi, my name is Jörn André Halset and I represent Truth Be Told Ministry. We have compiled a study Bible using the King James uh, Bible from 1611 as the primary Bible. And in addition, it also holds the New Heart English Bible from uh, 2016. That is, it is from 2010, but this is the 2016 revision. Um, or the latest revision, that is. So, um, it actually holds 4.6 million links, but this is um, the cover isn't updated, so it says 4.5 plus million links. It contains the Hebrew and Greek concordance in addition to um, uh, several biblical dictionaries, uh, as you will see, and also a word usage index and a cross-reference uh, um, Bible. So, let's open it up and there it is now i have cheated a little because if you resize the font or you make any changes um, size wise to the window um, i'm currently using my um, uh, my mac if you resize the ibook window it will recalculate the index so what you're looking at is um, an instance of iBook which has been opened up for at least like 10 minutes, uh, 10 to 20 minutes or so, um, because it takes some time to to make the calculations as to where the specific uh, pages are um, in reference to the links. Um, even so, when this one was published on iTunes, it was calculated to be 120 something thousand, 120,000 pages long. So this is not a small uh, digital um, Bible um, in any way. It's, um, I believe I have broken um, every limit there is. And soon um, the number of links will I suspect climb up to approximately 5 million um, and I will show you why in a couple of minutes. So please pause if you need to read this. Just jumping forward, I'm not using the table of contents but I'm just jumping forward. It's just to show you. Um, and as part of um, the reason I made this, uh, or I should say we, but it's mostly I am the developer and you know the brains behind it all. Um, it's um, our ministry, Truth Be Told Ministry, uh, belongs to me and my wife. Um, and so we want to obey God in spreading the gospel. And um, the reason I made this study Bible is basically it started out as a book and I wanted to include all um, I wanted to include a lot of references to the Bible and so it's been developing from that st uh, stage on to basically be a full-fledged Bible study um, or like a Bible build engine which you don't see it um, here but it's built using Python. Python is a scripting language, and then I've been using MySQL uh, database. So, and all these things, um, there's a lot of programming um, at the back of this study Bible. And I've also released a lot of um, different Bibles um, using some 20 or 30 different languages or so. So, the reason, uh, what you're seeing here, like James 1, 22 to 25, is a reference into the navigational part of the study Bible. And so this is, it shows, it shows how my book also will be. Um, every reference uh, will be linked to the dictionary um, on the specific words that are actually in the dictionary itself, um, or one of them. Um, and it is, uh, it makes for an enriched study of the Word of God. Um, but nothing can replace the Holy Spirit. Um, but this is a tool. 
It's a tool for studying the Word of God with God, with the Holy Spirit. And so you can see all the links. If I click on James 1, 22 to 25, it jumps into the reference itself. And as you can see, I won't be giving you any specifics now. I'm just showing you. Or let's say I want to click on Word. And any word that is linked points into the Webster's Dictionary, just as the only word does, and the deceiving your own selves, or those are different words, so let's click on selves. Um, and then within each uh, and every description in a given dictionary is further linking down to the other dictionaries or within itself. Let's say I'm looking at semblance in Webster's and the word appearance. And then in the description of appearance, you have also a lot of different, um, I mean, it, it's, it just goes deeper and deeper, uh, so to speak. Oh, it's, it's a self-describing um, uh, dictionary. Now, <clears throat> I have not included all the words in Webster's Dictionary. I did an analysis of the Bible, um, and I picked out a lot of the words that are uh, not common, um, um, but uh, hopefully relevant to the study of the Bible. So, if you look at the word, uh, word in parentheses, um, you see N. It's, um, <clears throat> this is, it's referencing, sorry about that, it is referencing N, reference Naves topical um, Bible. And let's go further down, look at the word glass. We know that glass represents, uh, uh, references uh, the glass topic in Webster's, but then you also have N, and then you have E, and then you have S. E stands for Easterns, S stands for Smiths. So, do we have, yes we do, man. Look at man. We have N E S T. T stands for Tory. And so the beautiful thing about this, it looks a bit messy, um, it really does. But this is the cleanest um, way I have done the linking um, up to now because I want it to be, I want you, the user, to be able to jump directly into the given dictionary of that specific topic or word. So let's say I'm going to uh, man the Tory, uh, the Tory, uh, the, um, the topic man in Tory's biblical dictionary. And there, what you'll see is, I can, well, I can just describe what's, you know, it's, it's the standard. This one links deeper down into different, uh, no, the other dictionaries. But not only that, what I have done is I have, I'm identifying each and every reference to the Bible itself. So you can actually jump into that specific reference. So let's say made for God. And it says Revelation 4.11. Let's jump into Revelation 4.11 and so forth. So let's jump back one more time i'm jumping forward please pause if you need to read this it says 2010 we have the 2016 uh, the latest revision 2016. now this one um, as you can see this is um, list of the dictionaries that I used. It is the Naves Topical Bible Concordance with 5,320 entries. It is Easton's Bible Dictionary with 3,924 entries. It is Smith's Bible Dictionary with 4,560 entries. Tories with 621. Hitchcock's Bible Names 
2737 and the Strong's um, Hebrew Concordance with 8674 um, and the Strong's Greek Concordance with 5523. Now, um, I won't be too detailed in this um, in this review or this. Um, <clears throat> just showing you i'm just showing you the you know the different things um not doing it too thoroughly um even so easton's biblical dictionary is always suffixed after the word with an e hitchcock's bible names with an h names topical with an and then you have <clears throat> within sorry about that within the hebrew strong's um uh, within the Old Testament, every word or, um, or words that refer to a specific word in the Hebrew concordance has a suffix with H for Hebrew and then a four um, d a digit number which refers to the specific entry itself. Um, I could have surely dropped the linking uh, on each and every Hebrew word. <clears throat> such as the Greek, uh, the Greek word, um, but I haven't done so. I wanted to be clear um, um, what is what, so I will sh be showing you in a in a short short time. And Smith's Bible Dictionary is suffixed with S, and Torah's New Textbook is suffixed with T. Then you have the Webster's Unabridged Dictionary with approximately twenty nine thousand uh, entries. So, let's go forward. Now, this is the Navigational Bible. As you can see in the table of contents, this one, this one is it's in the beginning. And as you can see, we have the whole Bible. Coming to the New Testament. And it's it's quite huge. Well, it has all the books, but it's, um, this is the, I'll be showing you. Ah, yes, plain. After the navigational one, you are coming down to the plain version of the King James. So it won't go much deeper than that one, but let's just let me show you the essence of the navigation. Within each testament, you can jump to the other testament, or vice versa. Within the list of the books, you can of course jump to the books, Exodus, or jump back or forth to the different books. So let me show you. I want to go to the New Testament, Matthew 3, let's say 16. And so this is just an example. As you can see, the King James Bible is, you can go to the King James Bible and this is the TTS version of it. So if you have capability on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac, or any iOS device that is able to read uh, the text to you, then this is the one. Um, this is, I mean, this is beautifully made um, for uh, any TTS engine. But let's go back. Um, and it is the same thing with the New Heart English Bible. You have also a TTS version of that one. Okay. And as you can see, all the linking is in place. It's, um, it enhances the study. But in addition to this, it is there are links within, let's say, Matthew 3, that's one link, and then 16 is another, and then C and P and X. And I haven't explained to you what C, P, X means. C stands for 
C stands for cross-reference, P stands for plane, X stands for um, the strongs. And so let's say I want to jump back to the chapter number three, and I will just do like this. Um, and then you have the as one feature. Um, this is colon two. It will actually refocus um, that specific verse. Well, that's what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't work on iBook, so that's okay. But if you have another reader, remember this is a DRM-free, <coughs> sorry, digital Bible, and so um, different readers, you know, work slightly differently. But the colon two or the colon one or colon four, colon five, if if you choose it, what will happen normally um, with most readers is it will focus the verse up on the left corner. So as in the case of Matthew 3, 5, you can see it, it's, it's cut in two. You have to go to the next page. So that's why I made this. But it doesn't work on iBook, uh, unfortunately. Even so, let's see what the cross-reference uh, means. So this is Matthew 3, 5. Let's go to the cross-reference. In the cross-reference, you have <coughs> so, but that you have the openbible.com. Um, I've used the data from the openbible.com, and they have approximately well, three hundred thousand something uh, references um, connected to each and every verse um, in the Bible, and so these that's that's what you're seeing here. Um, and instead of just giving you the references which you can go into, I decided um, <coughs> sorry let's should make some sorry about that. Um, I decided to print out each and every reference. Uh, of course this uh, basically bloats the text. I mean, it makes the book bigger, but I want it to, uh, to be a solid study Bible. Um, so, and then you have the plane, King James plane. Um, and it's, it's not that plane, but it is, as you can see, it shows you where you are at any given time. It has the same navigational uh, features as the navigation, navigation part has. And it also uh, gives you the ability to jump into the Strong's uh, section of V, that stands for NAV, uh, the navigational one, or the C for cross-reference. So let's say I want to go into uh, the Strong's, the Strong's Bible, King James Strong's. Um, and I want to be looking at the word 40, that's the Greek word 5062. So let's jump in. Uh, and they have the description. Well, it's, it's a very simple one. Um, <clears throat> and then you, you can see uh, der uh, derives from the decade of G5064. Um, it's used 22 times in 21 verses. But let's see. And this is basically this is the this is the Greek. Those are the Greek original words used in the New Testament translation. So, let's say I want to check up Genesis and in the beginning I want to check up this one in the Hebrew Strong's Concordance and this is a really, it's just, this, is a, this is a beauty. It's, I don't support Nikuds in Hebrew. So you won't see any dashes or, or dots, whatever, on the letters, um, because I had a really hard time. Uh, this 
it's really not supported. Um, so <clears throat> it's, but the letters are there. And Rishit, as you can see, I've also built a table for each and every word in the Hebrew Strong's Concordance. I show you the full table of each letter and what the, pic uh, the picture and the meaning of it. And the definition, of course. Um, and also the gematria, uh, the dif um, using different methods and the usage of it. So this is used 20, uh, 51 times in 49 verses. So this is really, this is the, uh, <coughs> this is the Hebrew concordance. And as you can see, I've also included links into the different Bible dictionaries. So this says uh, that Archer is also mentioned in the Eastern, uh, Eastern's um, Bible dictionary. So when we're looking at it, you can see that this is the, um, the Bible dictionary is used, uh, if you know them, they are beautiful dictionaries. And I used a lot of time to, to, um, to actually link up I mean, to, to find and link up all the references um, to the different chapters and so, um, and this, this is not infallible um, because I used, it's, um, let's say I needed to wash, I washed the text um, and, and then I started programmatically finding every instance of every reference to the Bible and so it's not infallible uh, you will find faults in it um, but not the, uh, the links uh, themselves but let's say well I mean, mostly it works beautifully and so I've made this functional it's it's supposed to be a functional and, and hands-on study Bible easy to navigate um, and read from or listen to in the case of TTS if you want to um, and so all the biblical dictionaries combined and all the links, that's what makes up for the 4.5 million references or 4.6 million references. And in, um, and it's, it's really, I think it's, it's, a, it's a jewel, basically. So let's say I want to go to the beginning of the Easton's biblical dictionary. This is it. And you can also go to using the table of contents. You can go directly to each and every dictionary. If you want to do a manual um, 